Well, my friends, a bit of a mess here in the RC room due to Project Behemoth sitting over here on the RC workstation. And I'm telling you what, look at that. Massive, huge, 112th scale, 6x6 off-road military truck from Cross RC. Now, the project is nowhere near done yet. I'm still working on it. This is going on week three that I've been working on the truck. I've been working on it, you know, a little bit here and there, like an hour or two uh, when I get home from work. Uh, some days I just don't feel like building it because I'm just so tired from work. But I wanted to give you a general uh, preview of the truck and how it's looking. It's nowhere not done. I still have a lot of scale items that I got to put on it. Uh, do some more painting and some gluing, but uh, I just wanted to give y'all guys a, uh, a a little preview of what the truck's looking like and how well it is turning out. It's pretty nice. Now let's talk about my color scheme. I decided to go here with on the truck. I went with a uh, primer gray and then went back with a matte to kind of nice make it nice and smooth. Like uh, I've been also touching up some details doing some black on the vehicle, black and kind of like chrome and stuff like that. And I'm telling you, it's turning out very, very nice. And it's been one heck of a build. This is a, the most intense build I have ever done. And uh, I'd also want to give thanks to my dad, who's been helping me on this build project from day one. He's been really assisting me a lot on this truck. And I, I couldn't do this truck without him on that. It's just so many parts like here's the parts bag that was just some of them all right that's not all of them <laughs> i have a whole bag full of empty bags from the project so like i said i still got a lot more stuff to do like the interior i still got to get that done that's sitting <laughs> over here on the floor that's going to be my next thing to work on uh also getting the uh, electronics installed which i already got uh both the servos the motor installed in it i just got to put my esc the uh the light and sound kit that i got which i'll be doing a video on that i'm not exactly sure where it's at <laughs> it's lost somewhere in here but i'll find it but i did get a sound unit and i will do a video on that topic right there of that sound unit uh, it's pretty awesome it's light and sound and uh, i think y'all are really going to dig that but just look at the truck it's, it looks so gorgeous and once it's all completed and did my final touch on it i think this truck can be really awesome now this thing is super heavy now i'm not exactly sure on weight wise but i'm thinking around i think i read it said about 20 25 pounds it's gone away could that be i don't know but it is massive heavy uh <laughs> i mean look and we got the under axles here let's focus camera focus i'm trying to focus there you go look at it just the amount of detail in this rig is crazy here's the front the leaf springs the wheels these were very very tricky my friends to do trying to line up and uh, getting the uh the bead to lock in any guys who uh, use three-piece bead locks, <laughs> you definitely know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean on that. These things are just so difficult to work with. Uh, what else to cover? Back here in the back, hadn't done much with that. I'm going to work on that too. Spare tire and stuff like that. It's just a crazy amount of detail. I've never seen a build like this detail before, other than the RC4 drive uh, Blazer, but this... This is, <laughs> is amazing. Like, look at this. All metal. Everything is pretty much metal other than the body. Now, I do want to say, now the truck is considered to be 1 12th scale, all right? It's considered to be 1 12th, but it's actually on a 1 10th scale chassis. And uh, Cross did this because it would have cost way too much to make a 10th scale body. So they did a 12th scale body on a 10th scale chassis, which uh, to me it did the same thing with the M1025 Humvee, which is sitting over here on the shelf. 
It is a 112 scale body, but on a 110 scale torn chassis with 1.9 wheels. Might have to redo that one. <laughs> Might have to redo it to match the truck over there. Yeah, we got the trail finder over there. Hey. You sexy thing. Mm -mm. You sexy thing. <laughs> and of course, I got the SCX10 over there without the body. Actually, uh, that's another project <laughs> down in the works right now. But uh, I wanted to give you guys a general um, <laughs> preview of the truck. So it is uh it's coming along the project is coming along and just uh, uh you know just a little bit more on the build and this truck will be ready to hit the trails and the rocks and mud and water and all that good stuff so uh so yeah so this is update number three i think yeah update number three on the hc6 from cross rc which is a deuce and a half and like i said the project is called behemoth a huge monster creature this thing is huge and as you can see just sitting on the workstation <laughs> all right my friends so thanks for watching this update on the hc6 and there'll be some more updates on the truck as i get this thing completed so uh yeah all right my friends so thanks for watching and i will see y'all in update number four and some of the other videos. Later.